Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa and welcome to all my new subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this beautiful resin feather tray from BB Craft. So let's get started. Okay guys, hey, so here is the silicone mold from BB Craft. Here is some beautiful glitter and the beautiful foils or leaf. And you got the tweezers, that silicone cup, you got the finger cuts and the pipettes. Here's a little close-up of all the different foils. And then here's a close-up with these beautiful glitters. And I'm also using the silicone mat from BB Craft as well. But I'm not going to be using the tape, so I really don't need it. And I'm not really sure what it's for. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to choose the silver foils in there. I'm going to put it directly into the mold. And then I'm going to choose some glitters, the pink one or the lighter pink one. And I'm also going to be using this very pretty pink liquid uh, color just for resin with the tweezers. And I'm going to be using it to pick up the silver foil. And I'm going to put it directly into the mold before pouring the resin. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey guys, so first of all, I almost forgot, BB Craft's website is in the description below, as well as my code, WebPaint5, where you can save $5 off a $40 purchase, and all the links to both of the products will be in the description as well, and don't forget that they have a YouTube program, where if you have 100 subscribers or more, you can join their YouTube program. So I already put in the silver foil on the sides of the feather mold, feather tray mold. So now I'm just going to quickly take some of this pretty gold. I was only going to use silver, but I changed it up and I'm adding a little gold as well. I'm just going to put it directly into the mold with the tweezers. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush from Artsy Fartsy Lover, Stacy Nicole. And I'm just going to brush it in directly into the mold so it sticks um, to the mold very, very well. Alright, I'm going to take a little more. And then I'm just going to continue doing this off camera, all over the bottom of the mold, just where I want it. And I'm just going to brush, brush, brush and make sure it's really nice and st sticking to the bottom of the mold. I'm just going to put all over the bottom, off camera, and then I'm going to actually use the lighter pink glitters with that beautiful pink coloring for resin and pour in the mold. Alright, so here is the glitter in the resin already mixed up, and I'm just going to pour just back and forth all over the mold so it's nice and even and as you see it's just you know sliding into the bottom of the mold you see it filling up really really nicely and I absolutely used the silicone cup that they actually put in the kit as well I try to use as many items um, from the kit as I possibly could so that pink is really nice it's uh, very transparent, but I'm going to be adding something to it at the end once this sits and cures. So now I'm just going to use my heat tool and it's a little sticky from the resin. Try to put it on and I'm just going to blow out any of the bubbles just back and forth and just pop any bubbles. So now it's going to sit for 24 hours and we are going to unmold it. Hey guys, so I unmolded it off camera and it's really, really easy. Just pop it out. 
so simple and just pops right out and you see that beautiful texture and then you just pop it back in this is just a beautiful size it's so heavy very very easy to work with and look how beautifully this came out the beautiful glitters and the gold and silver silver foil and that very transparent pink um, color just for resin I think it came out really really beautiful and I'm really happy with the way it came out but I am actually going to add something else oh yeah and I just wanted to show you um, from the bottom of the silicone cup I let it dry and it's a really cool little gabichon so that's perfect so I'm using every bit of the resin so what I am going to do is pour some um, color more pigmented color on the back of it I saw some other people do that with this peach blossom um, mica pigment from T expert so I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna mix it and pour on the bottom of the mold and I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours <clears throat> hey guys I am back it has been 24 hours and now 48 for the whole project just letting it cure so here's a beautiful peach blossom uh, mica from tea expert and I use that little spoon like I said I try to use as many items from the kit and I did use the pipette as well but basically I used the cup and I poured it and here's that gabichon which I thought was really really cool you could make um, from the uh, residue of the resin from the cup and I use the pink glitter and I use quite a bit of the foil there really isn't a lot of foil in each one but I use the other pink color glitter the lighter color and I used everything from the kit really and I did add a little more to of the um, liquid pigment as well and this is the bottom I just poured it on the bottom of the tray and this is how the final product came out the final project came out and I love it I think it's so so pretty I am really really happy with the way it came out whoops and it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't knock something over so let's move some stuff out of the way because I want to show you what I'm going to use it for so I have some sage and some uh, Palo Santo and I'm just gonna use it in my tray as a display and actually as a little place to organize all of my um, smudging stuff if you don't know what smudging is you can google it it but it just clears energies out of your home and from yourself like all negative energies so here is the Palo Santo and all of my beautiful sages and this gorgeous feather tray I just love the way it came out it's a little too much in there I want you to see how it looks with the beautiful um, rose covered sage and I really really love the way this came out and I really love this resin tray you can make so many different projects with this and I think I'm gonna use this again around Halloween I already have my plans to make a candy tray so thank you so much to BB craft I really appreciate you sending me these awesome products don't forget the websites in the description as well as the links to all the products like the silicone mat and the molds and don't forget my code and thanks so much for watching today guys i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye